All right. Welcome back, everybody. Let's old school it here at Mosquito for a little while. I actually think that there's a rough and a white bream order, and I have no idea. Um, which, if either, will be, um, will be biting here off the dock. Oh, by the way, I guess I need to say this. I'm going to release this video. I think I'm going to schedule this one to release while I'm out of town. So the only reason why I bring that up, because, I mean, obviously you'll be seeing it whenever you see it, but I bring that up just to point out that right now it is you know, Thursday night. And this might not upload till Saturday or Sunday. It won't be later than Sunday, but it could be Sunday. So, you know, it's part of why I came to Mosquito because I have a feeling the old Berg spots, some of those spots are like in the middle of transition right now. And so, Mosquito spots are a little more stable, I feel like. Um, so anyway, it, it, you know, for what it's worth. So I thought what we'd do here at Mosquito, just to mess around a little bit, is see if either White Bream or Rough are biting off the dock here as it gets to be evening time. And then if we can get one of those orders done, I'm thinking it'll be Rough that we catch here, but we'll see. If we can get one of those orders done, then we will, um, go try out the, the bream spot that was last active here at Mosquito. I don't know if it still is, but we might give that a spin. All right, so I'm trying to tell if I don't think either one of these have a fish on, but I just want to make sure. There's a sleeper. That's cool. And we got a point in bottom fishing. We're about to hit 55. 55 matter it's 55 a thing oh we can use a snowman rig now right snowman is the one that does the sinking and the floating at the same time that's kind of cool you can have a pop-up and a sinking boily at the same time or that's kind of neat See if this is a rough on red worm. Yeah. All right. Let's see what we can get here. So we've got the one rough, and I think they all just have to be over like 20 or something. 
Yeah, it's one of those over 20, so anything's going to work, and that'll be 26 silver. We haven't seen a single white bream yet, so it's not looking great. We did catch the one crucian. That order would be easy to finish if we want to. Um, go down to the crucian gibble spot, but I kind of do want to test the bream. We'll see. We'll see. Unless we start seeing white bream pop out, as soon as the, roach or the rough order is finished, we're moving. It's one of those spots where I think you kind of have to check the lines. Even though we have the really light quiver tip, there could be times. You see like quivering right there? There could be times if you're not paying attention. I mean, there is an absolute fish on right now. And there's no bend in the line at all. No bells would be going off. The light wasn't blinking. A sneaky little bream. Same thing on this one. And that was just no indication. I think the rough are going to start coming in now on both baits maybe we're 18 meter clips right here by the way and just put the tiniest hooks you have if they're biting at all you can get your rough your rough or white bream order done that's not a bad fish on such a tiny hook And it's early enough that sometimes you see perch come in on the worm. But with these tiny of hooks, hopefully we'll avoid them. What's the white bream order? Is it also the easy one? It is. So, I mean, combined, if you can hit both of those, that's 50 guaranteed silver. I mean, even if bream are biting, they're not going to be great at mosquitoes. So, that's tempting. This is one of the easiest pallet of orders. I mean, it always kind of is, but especially right now. If you ignore the chub and the eye, like all of these orders are pretty simple orders. Of course, the money makers are these three the rough, white, and crucian. Some of the other ones we will probably finish without even meaning to. All right, is that number four? If we finish the rough order without having caught another white bream, I think we move because I won't be surprised if we maybe catch an occasional white bream in our other spot. It just depends on what's biting over there. Am I right at four? Yeah, we're at four. We're one rough away. And it's really not even, it's not even bream time yet. I mean, this is great. We're getting this knocked out. Now, if the bream aren't biting, just stay here and catch rough all night. They're actually pretty decent money if you're catching a decent amount of uh, Um, they're pretty decent money if you're catching a decent percentage of markers. I 
That's a perch, isn't it? I told you they'd come. This is a big fish for mosquito. If it's a white bream, it's a nice one. It's a gibble. Two, three, four. We're still missing one. all the lines here. We probably want to try red worms. One of our baits to start off with. I don't know. I never have um, an exact cast for clip for this. Okay, let's go with. I mean, we know we're gonna do garlic dough, right? Um, we just wanna go out into the five meter hole so we can really go just, there's a lot of different distances you can cast here to test this. And I think we want to have pea porridge to start off with, not oatmeal, but pea porridge. 
it's not unheard of for that to be really good even at even at uh, mosquito i think it could be Ooh, that was a longer cast than i intended i think the third one's there's just a lot of ways you can go with the third one let's try maggots first i guess 10 maggot We kind of want to aim at the edge of, or a little left of that, maybe. Okay. And then we may, if e any of these baits seem to be really slow, uh, before we change spots, we could try just like worm, red worm, and also pearl barley That is a bream on garlic dough. Farther than I meant to cast. What is this on pea porridge? Getting bream species on every bite, every bait. Ooh. Well, we definitely want to keep that in. Some eel ground bait. There's no such thing. Actually, let's try red worm for a minute. I think worm should would probably work better with smaller hook, right? Might be a little slow on an eight. Because you're more likely to get like white bream rough with the bream on worm. 
this is a nice fish. It might be a marker, just barely maybe. Oh, is it under a marker? That's a marker. Very nice. Oh, right, this is red worm. All right, that's rough. I think we'll get a better bite on worm. Let's try worm now. Yeah, red worm will catch the rough for sure. Maybe the bream species, but it might be a slower bite. Let's see what worm does. Garlic dough is really not getting a very quick bite, is it? tried pearl barley yet you could also try cottage cheese though there's just so many baits to rule out um, but I think garlic dough and pearl barley have been working the most recently at mosquito a nice little bream on maggots I think I probably don't try maggots enough for bream because it's so rare that it's the right choice at burgers Volkov but I think at mosquito sometimes it is the right choice Do we push for the white bream? Just try to finish the order. I could just do that on one rod. We should just have maggots in all three rods. Do maggots ever catch white bream though? That I'm not sure of. All right, let's just change this to a small hook.
look at that. Wow. What a cool fish. Magus is the super bait right now. I'm going to change pearl barley to maggots unless this is a heck of a fish on there. All right, that's got a fish on. It's a rough. Might be a marker. This is our stronger rod, our rig. I bet it is a marker, actually. So that's pearl barley. Is pearl barley better than garlic dough at mosquito right now? Maybe so. It's a couple of decent bream we've had. I just don't know, I don't know that the baits that are catching white bream pretty well at Elberg necessarily translate to mosquito right now. It seems like sometimes baits do translate, sometimes they don't as well. What did you catch that on? Level 21, probably at Elberg. Bet if we put on, yeah, let's just try this. I think red worm will also catch rough with this size hook, but I would not mind finishing that white bream order. We need two more, basically. It's small. Let's give garlic dough one more chance. I don't know if, yeah, I did have garlic dough pretty long for on that first line for pretty long, right? Man, this thing was going crazy. I thought for sure there was a fish on there. What's the difference in Paternoster and regular bottom? Paternoster says it's got medium sensitivity and auto setting of the hook. Bottom fishing when it first came out didn't have putting ground bait as even an option. But it says universal for use in still water and in currents. Low sensitivity but fast auto hooking. really don't know other than that we can only assume that your cage on a regular basic bottom rig is actually on the same line as your bait and then when you get into the other rigs you start having the differences I guess in line 
Yeah, I don't know. The question is, what's the difference in inline and basic bottom, in a sense? Now that they allow ground bait cages to go on, the feeder cages to go on basic bottom. I don't know, it's a little weird. Is that a sleeper? No, that's a rough. this like size 10 hook we're when we do catch a rough on that line it tends to be big it seems like but thankfully it's catching other stuff too oh somebody did have an eel there weren't a lot caught but Guess they're still coming out some.
kernel barley may have been a little better than it's just hard to tell when you're just testing on one line going back and forth I think if we go like this we'll probably finish that white bream order but let's see I switch off red worm back to worm on the middle line. Mm. That's the issue with daytime, even on small hooks. If there's a lot of perch in that spot, we're going to catch them. Red worm will too. Perch will eat anything. Look how close we are to this spot.
that. The other thing about this spot is it really works best with the small leaders, doesn't it? Okay, give me just a second. We have a Chinese sleeper trophy come in, somebody. I think somebody caught one. A Doris, maybe. I haven't fished a spot in ages. I, I knew we would probably at least be able to finish off some of those simple crucian orders since we're not going to get the white bream one done it looks like there's a gibble we'll just do this for a few more minutes the fishing will definitely get worse as it gets closer to afternoon
two crucian in on pearl barley in a row, you know must, there must not be too many roach around. Or there's just so many crucian. Maybe, uh, maybe, uh, Simolina's just not hitting it quite as good. I mean, it is morning now, but. not going to do good with a, that big a leader on. Probably the issue. What is this? It's probably a roach, right? It's like roach tend to do that more than crucian or gibble, just like sit on your line like that and not not make their presence known. Barley's doing well here. It's catching nice specimens of Crucian Gibble, but it's also, you know, there for the roach as well. Looks like Semolina is still working quite well in this spot, actually. Once I got the leader and everything set up properly. So that means... Yeah, and we had five-point leader on that on the third rod and it was still doing great with pearl barley. That is the worst when you're trolling and you get two big fish on both lines and can't can't rush to get either one in. Exactly the right amount. <laughs> <laughs> 
So 30 more silver. It is kind of silly that we never got that. Um, we made all our silver off of cafe orders. We never got that white bream order finished for 26 more silver, but it's okay. We did good. And 60 more. Some of that is the rough. You know, the rough add up. We had some decent rough that really just add up. A couple of decent bream. Trophy rough gave us 13 silver, so it's not bad. I mean, that puts us up to 259. Remember, we're saving for a rod to put our second Saber 60 on. We're getting there. And if you're watching this, I should be back in town soon. Thank you all for watching. I will see you next time.